We continue now at the top of Daf Chav Vav Amid Beis Maseches Erevin. This is Erevin Daf Twenty Six B. The Gemara here is resolving a contradiction between our mission and another mission. And the Gemara says Har Rav Eliezer v'Har Rabbanan. The Mishnayos are different Tanoim. Our mission is Rav Eliezer. The other mission is the Rabbanan. Rashi says Mas Nisan Rav Eliezer Kedo Amar Rav Eloi Shamati Mir Rav Eliezer. That's what Rav Eloi says that I heard from Rabbi Eliezer, and the Gemara now explains that which I explained on the previous Amr as follows, When when you analyze the, the matter, it comes out that according to Rabbi Eliezer, When someone is mevatel the Rishus they have in the Chatzir, they're also mevatel the Rishus they have in their own house. In other words, this person who forgot to join the Erev, you have a bunch of people who live in a Chatzir, and they all made an Erev except for one of them, and then the particular individual who didn't join the Erev, he was mevatel his Rishus that he had in the Chatzar, the ownership stake that he has in the common Chatzar, he's Mavatel. And uh, according to Rabbi Eliezer, he is also automatically, even though he didn't specify, he's automatically Mavatel, the Rishus he has in his own house. And therefore, everyone else can carry back and forth, even from his house into the Chatzar and vice versa. It's not a problem. It's only a problem for him to carry from his house because then it's like he's reacquiring that stake in his house, which is a problem. That's according to Rabbi Eliezer. The Rabbanon, but according to the Rabbanon, Mavatel, Rishus Chatzay, Rishus Beso, Lo Beetle. When someone is Mavatel, the Rishus he has in the Chatzar, he's not Mavatel, the Rishus he has in his house, and therefore no one can carry back and forth from his house to the Chatzar. Rashi explains, Rishus Beso, Beetle, Viafa Gavta, Lo Parish Behedya. Uh, Rishus Beis, so even though he didn't explicitly state that he's being mevatel the Rishus that he has in his house, to avade masisin below perish, because obviously our mission is talking about a case where he didn't say it explicitly, to perish, because if he said it explicitly, lo matzi lo meimer Rebbe Loi bikashdi li chaver v'lo matzasi, then Rebbe Loi would not have said that nobody agrees with me. To kuliyama mo did the shari, everybody agrees if he's mevatel, if he's mevatel the Rishus he has in his house, there's no disagreement. In that case, everyone agrees that the other people can use the uh, can carry back and forth from his house. So clearly the issue over here is where he's mevatel the rishus in his chutzir, and the question is, is it automatic that he's mevatel the rishus in his house? The Gemara says, Pshita, well, isn't this whole thing obvious? Rashi says, Pshita de vahachi pligi, it's obvious that's the machlokas. V'loma leili le rav sheishas lomar kishatim tzolomar. What is the statement of sheishas saying kishatim tzolomar? When you analyze what they're saying, here's what comes out. That's exactly what they're saying. There's no other way to explain it. So the Gemara says, Amar rachva rachva says, Ano v'rav huna barchinana targimna. Uh, myself and Rav Huna Bar we are able to explain it, Rashi here says, we can explain what Rav Sheshes was adding when he made this uh, this analysis of the machlokas between Rabbi Eliezer and the Rabbanon as follows. What he's saying is, let's say you have a case of five people who dwell in one chotzer, the chotzer echad in one chotzer, echad mehen velo iriv, and then one of the five people forget to make an eriv. Ladivri Rabbi Eliezer, according to Rabbi Eliezer, kishu mevatel rishu. So when he's mevatel his rishus, ain't sarach levatel lechol echad v'yechad. He doesn't need to say, "I'm being mevatel my rishus to each and every one of you in the chutzner." It's automatic. We assume once he's mevatel his rishus, he means he's mevatel to everybody. Same the same way that Rabbi Eliezer says, when a person is mevatel the rishus in his chutzner, it's automatically assumed he's being mevatel the rishus in his house as well. The rabbanon, but according to the rabbanon, kishu mevatel rishus. So when he's being mevatel his rishus, sarach levatel lechol echad v'yechad. He's going to need to be mevatel to each and every person. So the point really of Rav Sheshis was this logic between uh, the logic of the Machlokas between Rav Eliezer and the Rabbanin it extends to other scenarios as well and the Gemara says Kemanoz Lohadetanya who does the following Brisa follow Brisa says Chamisha Shashrui and Bechotzer Echot five people are in one Chotzer Veshogach Echot Mehen Velo Erev one of them forgot to, to join the Erev Keshu Mevatel Rishus so Ein Sarach Levatel Rishus Lachol Echot V'Echot he doesn't need to say to specify that he's being Mevatel to every single person Keman Karav Eliezer who does that follow it follows Rav Eliezer Rav Kahana Mas Nihachi, everything we said above, that's how Rav Kahana learned uh, this whole discussion. Rav Tevyume Mas Nihachi, but Rav Tevyume learned it in the following fashion, just an independent statement. Keman Oz Lohadetanya. Who does the following Brisa follow, which says, Hey, Shashurim B'chatzer Echad, if you have five people in one Chatzer, B'shokach Echad Mehen V'lo Erev, and one of them didn't join the Erev, you forgot, Keshu Mevatel Rishus, so Eino Tzarech Levatel Rishus L'chol Echad V'yechad, he doesn't need to be Mevatel Rishus to every single individual. Keman, who does that follow? Amar Rav Huna Bar Yehud Amar Rav Sheshes. So Rav Huna Bar Yehuda says in the name of Rav Sheshes, Keman Karev Eliezer. You know who it follows? Again, it follows Rav Eliezer. Amar le Rav Papa Labai. Rav Papa said to Abai le Rav Eliezer. According to Rav Eliezer, I Amar lo mevatilna. Let's say the guy would say, I'm not being mevatil. Ul Rabbanon. Let's say according to Rabbanon, I Amar mevatilna. Let's say the guy would be clear and say he is being mevatil. 
Uh, my, what would be the halach? In other words, what if they would be clear? What if they would specify? Would that change things? Time with Rebbe Eliezer, Misham the Kasavar, Mevatel, Rishas Chatzir, Rishas Basil, Bitel. The whole reason of Rebbe Eliezer is that when a person is Mevatel, the Rishas in his Chatzir, it's automatic that he's being Mevatel, the Rishas in his house. Vahayomer, I know lo Mevatilna, but what if you had a situation where this guy said, I'm not being Mevatel, the Rishas in my house? Would that matter? Or is it automatic even when he's saying he's not? Oh, deal more, maybe. Time with Rebbe Eliezer, Misham, the bias, below Chatzir, lo Avid, the the diary. Maybe the real reason of Rabbi Eliezer is it's automatic because nobody lives in a house without a chutzer, so you can't even say otherwise. When you're mevatel the rishos of the chutzer, he's automatically mevatel the rishos of the uh, of the house. If he wants to say he's not being mevatel the rishos of his house, he wouldn't even be able to do that. Even if he says I'm going to live this way, it's nothing. Uh, same question we can have on the Rabbanon. Well, the Rabbanon, according to the Rabbanon, Yomar Mevatilna, if he says that I am being Mevatil, the Rishos of my house as well, my, what's going to be the Aloha? Time of the Rabbanon, Misham to Kasavri, Mevatil, Rishos Chatzei, Rishos Beisel, Obitel. Is the reason of the Rabbanon because when a person is Mevatil, the Rishos of his Chatzei, he's not necessarily being Mevatil, the Rishos of his house. V'hai Yomar Mevatilna. And this guy, he's saying he is being Mevatil. O Dilma, time of the Rabbanon, Misham to Loha, and Inish, to Mesalak Nafshi, Lagamri, Mibayas, Vachatzei. Maybe the real reason of the Rabbanon is people don't want to give up all of their uh, ownership. They don't want to be Masalik themselves totally from the house and the Chatzar. that they should be like a guest in the whole entire area. And this guy's saying he is being Mavatil his house as well. We wouldn't even listen to him. Nobody would ever give up that much owner- ownership. Amar Lay, so he responded to him, Bain le Rabbonin, Bain le Rabbi Eliezer, whether you're following the Rabbonin, whether you're following Rabbi Eliezer, Kavon de Goli, Dayte Goli. Whatever, if the guy already said what is being Mavatal, we trust him. We don't say, the whole uh, machlok is between the, between the Rabbonin and Rabbi Eliezer is if a person does not specify, do we assume it automatically? But if the person specifies, we follow whatever he specifies. I uh, just want to take a look at one Rashi over here. Rashi says, Lo Nitzrucha El Lechamisha Shashrim Bechotzer, Dashmin and Rav Sheshes, Losum Lev Lohavin Tamach Lukasan. What Rav Sheshes is doing, he's saying is pay attention to their reasoning. We can learn out to another case. The, the idea is, according to Rabbi Eliezer, when a guy is mevatel, he's doing it be'en yafe. He's doing it with a full eye. He's doing it fully. Totally being mevatel. Doesn't mind giving up uh, ownership. We don't say, well, he told us the chatzar, so fine, but he didn't tell us the house, so he's not mevatel the house. We can also learn out. If you're mevatel to one person, one individual, you're really being mevatel to everyone. We don't say, well, he was mevatel to uh, to Ruvain, but not to everybody else. Well, the Rabbon and Tzarech Levatel Lechol Echad V'yachan, and again, according to the Rabbon, he has to explicitly be mevatel to every single person. Same thing over here. What he doesn't explain, you don't assume he was mevatel. The Kula and Asur would all be a problem. And Rashi continues and explains. Now, maybe you'll say one second. Who cares if you're mevatel to all five people, or you're only mevatel to one of them? The guy you're mevatel to made an Erev. So it should be fine anyway. No, Rashi explains, Ki Erev may esvel adayta da chulka lo Erev. When he made the Erev yesterday, he wasn't thinking of the portion that's going to be, uh, that's going to be, that the other person was mevatel to him. So being mevatel to one person isn't going to help because you didn't have that in mind. Daishayta lav dideo, because at the time of the Erev, he didn't own that property. With the Chavos Eitanya Bahador, we have a similar case in Ador, Echem and Ashok Shemei, Tzvayel lo bais pachotzer, v'niach roshus o le'echon v'niach chotzer, mi bo yom, da'ayinu kodem she'irvu, t'chi Erev adayta da'i chulka nami Erev, e'no ozer, mi shachashecha rei zoser. It says the same thing, that if you, if the person gives over his property to one of them before the Erev is made, he has it in mind, everything's okay. But he, if he gives it to him after the Erev is made, then it's going to be a problem. So again, the point is that the same machlokas between Rabbi Leiz and the Rabbonin that took place by Mevatel Chatzar, are you also automatically being Mevatel the Rishos in the, in the house, is also going to be machlokas when you're Mevatel to one person, are you also automatically being Mevatel to the other people, and that does make a difference, because if you're not Mevatel to everybody, the Erev's not going to work, because you didn't have in mind, if, even if you're Mevatel to one individual, that individual when he joined the Erev didn't have in mind Mind to make the Erev with this property that was later uh, being given over to him. So the, it, it has to be that he's Mavatal to everybody, and therefore we have to know, is it automatic? When a person is Mavatal's property, is he automatically Mavatal to everybody or not? Uh, and then the last case in the Mishnah of Rabbi Eloi, in the name of Rabbi Eliezer, was, V'chein shamati mimenu she'yotzim bar kavlin Pesach. He said, I also heard from Rabbi Eliezer, that our kavlin is good for more on Pesach. My our kavlin, what's our kavlin? Amr Eishlokesh Atzvosa, uh, Charuziosa. Rashi says what that is. 
It's basically a, a branch, a soft branch that grows like a vine that grows around the palm tree. It's wrapped around there. Has a taste of marr. Hadron Allah Osin Pasin, that's the end of Perak Osin Pasin. If you've been following these videos regularly and you would like to support this channel, please take a look at the uh, description box below to see how you can support this channel. And of course, uh, like the videos, comment on the videos, and share and subscribe. Uh, the Gemara now continues uh, the third parak with the Mishnah, Bechol Ma'arvin Mishtatvin. You can use any kinds of food to make Erevin, whether it's, whether we're talking about Eruve Chatseros, which allow you to carry, whether you're talking about Eruve Tachumin, which allow you to walk a certain distance. Uh, you can use any kind of food, Chutzmin Hamayim Umin HaMelech, except for water and salt. Those do not count. Rashi says, They're not considered things that are muzzle. And the Gemara will go into that a little further. With a whole svar of Erev is, is that you're living in the area of your muzzle. Uh, and the Mishnah says, Va'kol nikach bekesef meiser. Let's say you have uh, money of meiser sheni. So a person has meiser sheni, they can redeem it on money, and they could spend that money on food in Yerushalayim. You can buy any kind of food, chutz min hamayim, again, umin hamelech, except for water and salt. Hanoder min hamazon, similarly, let's say somebody makes a neder not, uh, not to have any food, mazon, mutter bemelech uvamayim. He's, he's going he's gonna to be allowed to have, again, salt and water. That's not going to be considered mazon. Ma'arvin linazir biyayin. Now, you can make an era for Nazir with wine, even though he can't drink it, other people can. Well, Yisrael be And let's say Yisrael, uh, you can make an Arab with Truma, even though he can't eat Truma, the Kohen could. Sumcha Zomer, Sumcha says Bechulin. When it comes to the issue of a Yisrael, it has to be Chulin. The Mishnah also says you're allowed to make an Erev, you're allowed to place the Erev of a Kohen in a Beis HaPras. Now, a Beis HaPras is, is a place where generally uh, a Kohen is not allowed to go because of Tumma issues, but as the Gemara will explain, it's not going to be a problem. Rabbi Yehuda Omer Afilu Ben Akvaris. Rabbi Yehuda says even in a cemetery, it would be okay for a Kohen. He goes even further. Uh, Rashi says, he, First of all, this is the Stam mission of Allah, Sumchis Kamar Law. It's not Sumchis talking over here, it's the mission itself. Manichin Erev Lakoin Mebeis Apras, Avagav, the Bayinan, the Matzi, the Mezel, the Mishkal, the Mechle, even though generally you need to eat the Erev, or at least to be able to eat the Erev. Hasam, the Lom Matzi, Azel, Hasam, Hechi, Kani, Shvisa, Bahu, Dukhta, the Mahavi, Kilo, Shavas, Sham, because otherwise you can't be Kona Shvis in that area. But Beis HaPras, Shapir, Dami, when it comes to a Beis HaPras, it's okay. The Sveik Adrabonon, a Beis HaPras is an area where a grave was plowed over, so there's this concern for the bones, where there's a Suffolk, maybe there's a mace over there. The Gemara is going to say that you're allowed to enter a Beis HaPras by blowing, by inspecting the area and make sure there are no bones. That's actually going to be okay. And we'll continue with this discussion in the next video on Davchav Zayin, Amr Aleph.